Hi, everyone. My name is Smriti Pramanik, and I am a software engineer at Google working on search. Um, and I'm a magic mentor and board apprentice and a previous mentee. Um, and today I am so looking forward to interviewing uh, the mentee mentor pair of Betsy and Melissa. I just came from the final presentations and amazing job. Congratulations. I am very excited for you to share your project with the world um, and your experience. And I think you did a fantastic job presenting as well. Um, so we'll start off with introductions. Betsy, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Betsy Cacho Lopez and I am a senior at Eastside College Preparatory School. Thank you. And Melissa? My name is Melissa Friedenberg Myers. I am a biomedical engineer and I'm currently teaching uh, programming applications in biomedical engineering class at San Jose State. Um, I think this is my sixth session mentoring with magic. That's amazing. Um, Betsy, can you give us a summary of your project? Yeah, so for my project, I did a website on sexual education. Um, I, my website includes a lot of uh, videos that people can access. And I made the website with the intent of educating those in my community about sexual education, because I know that there's a lot of disparities in accessing healthcare and like accessing this knowledge as well. Um, it just really varies between family, but I know that in my community, uh, the disproportionate amount of families are like religious and Catholic. So these issues aren't really addressed, but I want to really break the stigma against the topic through my website. So um, I coded uh, a website and yeah, there's just like videos people can watch and yeah. It is amazing and I encourage everyone to go see the presentation. I mean, such an important topic and I mentioned it in the final presentation too, but you approached it with such um, such a good perspective and with, um, you know, I just really appreciate how you're doing this for the community. I'm wondering how you chose what kind of content you wanted to include. Yeah, so I really wanted the website to be like positive and like make people feel good and not like make them feel bad at any way about like accessing the website. So I made it pink, like just a happy bubbly color. And um, yeah, so the videos that I chose, I actually like, there's a drop down nav on the navigation bar, which has a lot of videos and the videos I actually like did some research on so like I would watch them myself and then like the best ones I would choose and like post them on the website mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's that's wonderful and um you also mentioned that there was some more there were a few more features or pages you wanted to add right mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about those yeah so I wanted to have a contact tab where students are not students uh people can have um like frequently asked questions and they can get their questions answered. So I know a lot of other websites have like a FAQ page. So I guess I wanna have that on the contact tab. And then I also wanna have a tab in Spanish because I know that like not a lot of people, not everyone speaks English. So it's also important to be able to access this information in Spanish. And I would, yeah, I would probably be doing the translating behind it because I know both languages. Wow. Very cool. I mean, it's wonderful to see that, you know, you gained this toolkit of web development working with Melissa, and then you were also so clearly thinking about the design and how it's not enough to just like put the content out there, but you really are very thoughtful about how you want to present it. Um, Melissa, what was it like? Have you built a website before? What was it like working with Betsy on this? Um, it was really fun working with Betsy on this. So um, I have built a website before and um it's it's really like interesting to me to get down like deep down in how it works and why and um I really appreciate how much Betsy also enjoyed doing that um so that I felt like we were kind of a good match in terms of what we like learning and how we like learning it 
Um, and then actually also in terms of the topic of the website, it's also something um, like that I'm very passionate about. So I, it's just like working with a friend on a project. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, it's clear that this was an awesome partnership and collaboration uh, beyond, you know, the mentee-mentor relationship. Um, Betsy, um, the question I had for you is, what was your favorite part about working on the website? Um, I would say like just the HTML and I don't know, I was really stressed out at the time, like with the challenges, but the challenging parts were probably like the most rewarding at the end because like they were a little bit more complex than the other parts. Um, so yeah, I was definitely like my favorite part was like, just also like seeking out the help and like being able to like be so rewarded at the end of like the obstacle. Right. And you shared this in the presentation, but I'd love for you to talk about it again, the lessons that you learned going through this project and this experience. Yeah. So one of the first lessons that I learned was not being ashamed of asking for help. I don't know, but I feel like maybe it's just me, but like a lot of people, like have a little bit of shame when they're asking for help because that like shows that they don't know how to do something so well but this project like really pushed me out of my comfort zone into asking for help from Melissa and also like taking advantage of all the online resources that there are um so yeah it, yeah yeah no that's um I purposely asked again because I think that's so insightful and it's also so awesome that you gain that from this experience so kudos to you and to Melissa for that um a couple more questions do you you know given this experience did you have any ideas for different projects that you wanted to do in the future mm, yeah so I was I don't know I was just thinking a lot about like more I guess not issues but more like problems that my community faces and one of them I would say is like nutrition um, and like knowing what foods are healthy and what really isn't because I know like a lot of the supermarkets near my area sell like a lot of like really sugar concentrated juices and like people are like oh it's mango flavor so it has to be healthy so maybe just like educating people on um, like the things that they consume and like different Alter alternative things they can consume for like similar prices maybe or yeah something that's like affordable consumption affordable too right wow yeah no it's great to see utilizing and having stem empowering you to you know approach these things and educate um especially as a woman in stem i'm very happy to see that it's empowering you to do that um a couple final questions so betsy now that you've, you, now you've graduated, you're a magic mentee alum. And do you have any advice for future mentees? Um, yeah, I would tell them to do something, a project that they're really passionate about and do something that they really care for, something that matters a lot to them because at the end of the day, at the end of the day you're going to be spending time working on it. So it has to be something that you really are passionate about for. Mm -hmm. And I would also tell them to like come into it with an open mind. I know like sometimes schoolwork is really stressful and like you just don't feel like you have enough time, but like just come on, come into it with an open mind and like think about all the things you're going to learn and like everything you're going to gain from this experience. Yeah, I really like both of those. Thank you. Um, and Melissa, similar question for you. What would you tell in new and incoming mentors? Yes. So um, I guess one thing was interesting about me, I didn't mention before is I actually did a program like this also, um, just like you when I was in school. And um, what I, what I love about it is I think when I first started actually being a mentor, I was a little bit intimidated um, because students, the students in the program are really smart. And <laughs> I was worried, you know, what if, what if I can't keep up with them? Or um, what if we're not interested in the same things? What if, um, I don't know, what if I just, I let them down somehow. <laughs> and um, what I found with um, each mentee I've worked with, um, especially Betsy, is 
it's just it's really fun and as long as you approach it like um like like a peer relationship like a friendship um which I would say is probably pretty similar to how my experience went when I was a mentee um that it it feels like it takes a lot of the pressure off um and it's it's just it's great to have that hour every week when you know you're gonna have fun and also do some cool stem stuff yeah yeah that's so true um well thank you both I could keep asking more and more questions but then <laughs> it would get way too long I've I've really enjoyed um talking to you both your project and your experiences inspired me and I'm really excited for it to get out there so congratulations once again and thank you Thank you.